Welcome to the ECHO 360 tutorial. We will be going through the steps in order to access ECHO 360 and learn the capabilities of what ECHO 360 has to offer. The first thing we are going to do is open up the Google Chrome browser. You can get to it from the, your desktop or you can access it if it is also available on your taskbar at the bottom of your window. Once your home page loads, you can simply go to www.shu.edu. Once you are at the home page, go into your PirateNet account located at the top of the website and log in with your PirateNet credentials. This will be your short name and your current Seton Hall password. If you are off campus, you may be prompted to go through the Duo security steps in order to access your PirateNet account. Once you are in your PirateNet account, please locate the Blackboard chiclet. Please go into your Blackboard account and you'll be able to choose any of your available courses. Please select the specific course in which you would like to use the Echo 360 application. The very first time you use Echo 360, we will have to link your specific course from within Blackboard to your Echo 360 account. Simply start out by going to the top left of your screen to the blue plus icon. Once you click on it, you will get multiple options from this menu. For this specific reason, we will be going to the tool link option within Blackboard. Once you select the tool link, please name this new section in Blackboard. We recommend naming it Echo 360 so it does not get confused with other parts of Blackboard. Also, please select the correct type, also known as Echo 360 recordings. Check the available box at the bottom of the menu so it will be available to all users within the course. Please click Submit. Once you do, you will notice at the bottom of the list within your selected course will be the Echo 360 group. Once you click on it, it will go into your Echo 360 account through your Blackboard course. Next, we will have to download the Echo 360 application to your desktop. At the top right of the screen, you can click on the blue gear icon and in the submenu, you can go to the Downloads option. This will allow you to download the Echo 360 Universal Capture software. It will give you two options, whether to download for a Mac or for a Windows desktop or laptop. Click on the correct installation for your specific laptop. It will begin downloading at the bottom left of your Google Chrome window. Once the download is complete, it will begin to blink, which signifies it is done downloading and it is ready for installation. Once it begins to blink, simply left click on the installer. The Windows installation will now begin. At the following prompts, please read the information and click on Next. You'll be given a minimum system requirements just to make sure that your laptop does meet the necessary statistics for the software to work properly. Click on Next. You will read the End User License Agreement. Click on the I accept the terms in the license agreement checkbox. 
you cannot proceed with the installation unless you agree to the terms and conditions. Click on Next. And it'll give you options as to where to install Echo 360. You can leave them both as default as it will automatically install in the program files and program data folders of your computer. Click on Next. Finally, you will be ready to start the installation of Echo 360. Click on the Install button at the bottom of the window. The installation could take from one to two minutes to complete the installation. If you do get a prompt from your laptop in regards to getting permission to install the software, simply click on Yes. The installation will promptly begin. Please be patient as the software installs. You will notice a green progress bar go across the screen, which will give you the percentage of it that is complete. Once completed, you will get a confirmation window that says Echo 360 Universal Capture has been successfully installed. Go ahead and click on Finish. Now that the software is installed on your laptop, we can now go ahead and use the Echo 360 software outside of Blackboard. You can minimize any open applications to go back to your desktop. If the installation succeeded on the desktop, you will notice there is the Echo 360 Universal icon. If it does not show up on your desktop, you can also access it by going to the white search bar at the bottom of your desktop and simply typing Echo 360. And it'll be the first option at the top of the list. Once found, simply click on it. And the Echo 360 Capture software will load for the first time. Before using the Echo 360 Capture software, you will need to log into your Echo 360 account to verify. It will open up the web browser and will ask you for your Seton Hall email address. In the email box, simply fill in your complete Seton Hall University email address, firstname.lastname at shu.edu, and click on Submit. If you get a prompt in regards to opening Echo 360, please select Open the Echo 360 Capture button. This will continue the login process within the Echo 360 client that we just installed. Echo 360 will verify your account and will automatically launch the software. Give it a few seconds to load as it will load both the camera and the microphone options. It is always best to maximize the screen to get the most out of your window. This is Echo 360 capturing software. It is very easy to use and understand. There are three main windows within Echo 360. The left side is your actual screen display. This will capture anything that you do on your desktop screen. You can open up PowerPoint files, Word files, or surf the web to go to YouTube or any other educational resources. The middle column will give you information about your microphone, whether it is on or off. You may click on the down arrows if you would like to change your microphone. The right side of the screen will give you the camera setup you have on your laptop. Clicking on the down arrow here also gives you the option to change your webcam or turn your webcam off entirely. In this scenario, I will only be recording what is on my screen on the left side and not my webcam. Before starting a recording, there are three basic principles for using Echo 360. The first is to confirm whether you want the webcam on or off. 
The second is to confirm whether you would like to record what is on your display. By choosing the down arrow, you can select yes to do the display or to turn it off. In this example, we will be recording what is on the screen and not on the webcam. The third and final piece of information before starting a recording is to actually edit the details of your recording by going to the top left under the Edit Capture Details. Click on the pencil icon and it will bring up a menu as far as information regarding your recording. Please assign a unique title to this recording. After you have assigned a title to your recording, you may input a brief description that will show up below the title once it is done processing. You may also input tags if you would like to be able to search for the video based on specific keywords after recording. The final section is the Publish To area. By default, any recordings that you use through Echo 360 will automatic, automatically show up in your Echo 360 library. This is easily looked up once you're able, once you complete the recording of Echo 360. Clicking on the down arrow in this category will allow you to automatically publish your video to a specific Blackboard course. By clicking on the down arrow, you should be able to see all of your courses that you have on Blackboard. Selecting a specific course will not change any of the fields you previously entered, but will allow the video to publish specifically to this course. Once you have confirmed all four fields, please click on the Save option at the bottom of the window. Once you click on the Save option, you will notice at the top left, it is now saved as the correct title that you entered before. Once you have confirmed these details, and once again confirm what you are recording, whether your webcam will be on or off, or if your display will be on or off. Once you confirm all of this and your microphone is tested correctly and working properly, you may go ahead and click on the large red recording circle in the center of the screen. You will get a five second countdown to prepare you for the start of the recording. Echo 360 is now recording in the background. Anything that you do on your laptop screen will be visible in the recording. I could go back to my Blackboard account or in PirateNet or open up a Microsoft Word document. Any program that you open from here on out will be recorded via Echo 360. Once you are done with your recording session, please open up the Echo 360 window at the bottom of your taskbar. You'll notice there is a red recording button on top of the Echo 360 icon, which tells you that it is currently recording. Once you open it up, you will see that there is a timer on the Echo 360 recording. This is telling you how long the recording currently is. Once you are done with the recording, simply press on the stop icon right below it and you will get an upload in progress screen. Depending on the length of your recording, this upload process may take a few minutes to complete. Once the video is done processing, you will be able to view it 
immediately by clicking on the click to view option. When you click on the click to view option, it'll automatically sign you into your Echo 360 account and will allow you to preview the video. Simply click on the play button at the bottom of the window and you will be able to view the recording you just completed. Recording in the background. In the background. Anything that Anything you do, that you on, do your on your laptop screen will be visible, will be in, visible the in the recording. If you scroll down on this web page, you are able to do many things with the video you just recorded. You may share the video directly by clicking on the share option. You may download the video to your laptop once it is done processing. You may also delete the video if you do not like the recording for any reason. There is more information about the video if you keep scrolling down the web page. If you go back to your Blackboard course, and you return to the Echo 360 portion that we created earlier, you will notice the recording we just completed is automatically located here. From here, you do have a few options to use. You may edit the recording by clicking on the pencil. You may delete the recording if you do not need it anymore or if you would like to re-record that session. You may also play back the video directly from here as well, simply by clicking on the recording. Just remember that you must click on the plus, uh, the play option in order for it to start playing back. Recording in the background. Recording in the background. Anything that Anything you do, that on, you your do on your laptop screen will be visible, will be in, visible the in the recording. This has been a quick overview on how to use Echo 360.